Well, Christmas in Old Jonesboro continues this weekend, and this Saturday it is a doggone Christmas. Yes, you are invited to bring your furry friends to the celebration. Here with more now is Melinda Cobb, and it's always fun to have you on the show. Yes, thanks for having me. You guys are like full steam ahead. You celebrate Christmas every weekend. We True. do. It's the most wonderful time of the year. It, it's the <laughs> most wonderful time of the year. We were saying, too, there's just something special. Downtown Jonesboro is so, it's nostalgic. It is, it is. And with the sleigh and Santa down there where you can take your pictures and all the wreaths with the lanterns. Yeah, it's it's a great place to can make some Christmas memories. It's a special place. And this weekend, all about our furry friends. And you were saying, really, every Saturday you see a few animals. So you're expecting yes. a big turnout this yes. Saturday. Yes, we started this event last year because we have a lot of people that bring their dogs to Jonesboro. It's a very dog-friendly environment downtown. Yeah. So we thought we need to have a dog event and invite people to bring their pets down and have pictures done with Santa. And then we pitched it to the store owners and they said, yeah, we'll, we'll welcome them in the store and get treats and have something for them. And then we talked with the Washington County Humane Society and they wanted to partner with us. So they're gonna have a tent down there and have some animals for adoption and be taking some donations for the shelter. And then uh, we also have a pet parade and we have the ugliest dog Christmas sweater contest and it's just you know it just keeps going so it just keeps getting I love the um, the look-alike contest you've got yes. a look-alike contest and yes. then getting in on the ugly sweater yes everybody needs an and Absolutely. knowing the people in Jonesboro and the surrounding areas I'm just guessing they go all out. <laughs> yes. So from 11 to 3, we will have Santa in the sleigh, and you can bring your pets down and do pictures. You can also bring your kids down. There's still kids. It, it's still kid friendly. <laughs> um, from 11 to 1, we will actually have a pet photographer there doing a digital file, and that she can email it to you for a $10 fee. And so we'll have that down if you want to bring your pets down. And then um, starting at 1, we will have the pet cost test, costume contest, which will be the ugliest Christmas sweater and the pet look-alike and also the best holiday costume Ooh. and then immediately after the costume contest we will have a parade that will go around <laughs> Main Street and wrap it up so fun yeah. and of course you can get some Christmas shopping done while you're there because Absolutely. you have just great quaint stores but then you also have you know the storytelling center and just homemade things as well yes we also offer a Christmas market each Saturday from 11 to 3 in front of the storytelling center sorry from 11 to 5 in front of the storytelling center and we kind of we try to theme what they are offering with that week. So we'll have several vendors this week offering homemade leashes and collars and bandanas. And we have a ceramic potter who's doing water bowls and, Ooh, and leash holders cool. and things like that. So they'll, and uh, dog treats as well. Um, so those will be there. And we also offer each Saturday, we offer free gift wrapping on any purchases made downtown inside the storytelling center. So nice can't make it easier than that. I know. <laughs> and they do such a good job. They do. You know, I we try do. to wrap them, and especially after, you know, gift 24, your wrap job's looking a little shabby. Yeah, it's getting pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> so how nice to have somebody do that. And we were saying, too, you guys continue to do different events every Saturday through Christmas. We do. Um, every Saturday, like I said, we have Santa in the sleigh. We have the Christmas market. And we I forgot to mention, we also have a Santa mailbox downtown. And it's down there all the time. It'll be okay. down there till December 17th. Um, children are encouraged to bring their Santa letters with a self-addressed envelope and we will write them back. Nice. And we also, so next weekend will be our At Home with Santa event, which is our big children's event. We have all kinds of stuff going on with the kids. It's a big free event where Food City partners with us and does cookie making. We have a Santa Mart where kids can come and buy presents for their relatives. Nice. We have um, a, a bubble station. We have free popcorn, free hot chocolate, Chocolate. We'll be having um, horse-drawn carriage rides, and then um, on the tenth next Saturday, we'll also end it with the parade that evening, starting at six wow. o'clock. So, best place to go: website, Facebook page. Yes. You can find out all the information on what's coming up each individual Saturday. But don't forget, this one is the doggone Christmas, and I got to remember to give you my letter to Santa. I wrote okay. it, so I'm just going <laughs> to have you take it with you. But here is the information on the upcoming event. It is Saturday from 11 to 3 in downtown Jonesboro. Check it out on Facebook for more information on the other events coming up on the other Saturdays as well. Main Street, Jonesboro.